Okay, so this is the second part of the last part. I have that piece and I've put in the uh, the white LED and also the white LED. In reality, this is supposed to be an infrared LED that's on this side and uh, an infrared sensor on this side. Here, uh, uh, yeah, here it is. This is what an infrared sensor looks like. It looks like an LED, but but it's uh, black. It's uh, black because it's made out of a type of plastic that is uh, black to our eyes, but it is clear in infrared in uh, the 850 uh, milli uh, 850 nanometer. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great if we could see that whatever so it looks like an LED <laughs> that's it but anyways so since it's the same size as an LED I uh, put an LED inside where the sensor is supposed to be just for us to be able to look at it and so I can kind of show you what it looks like if we use um, uh, visible light uh, for this all right so there we go there's uh, our bright side and our uh, sensor side and the sensor beam and this beam if you look at the ceiling you can see that's the bright beam if I cover that with my thumb you can see that's the infrared beam where the the infrared sensor would actually be able to see and those two beams center with each other almost perfectly so that's pretty awesome. So the uh, the uh, the beam, the infrared beam, will be uh, pointing upwards, and the infrared sensor will be looking through a glass lens that is lined up with the uh, infrared beam. All right. Now, next thing is to take this and put it inside one of these inside one of these all right thank you for watching